morning. Welcome to end of week Ainsley news. Today we're talking the transitory strong US dollar and how it's a gift to gold buyers. The fallout from the change in tone of the Fed Wednesday night continues with the US dollar continuing its march higher. Shares faltering, bond yields falling and both gold and silver falling with them. Chris Cat Tavia Costa tweeted some perspective. This from him. We're debating if we should start a diet two years from now. But regardless, the market is swallowing the jawboning, and that should always be cause for pause and consider various views. Raul Pal is one who believes inflation will be transitory. The USD will continue to rise for a period, but the US economy will weaken later this year. He tweeted a summary of you last night, and it is worth sharing. The dollar is always the key macro variable. When it moves, everything moves. If the dollar rises sharply back to the middle of the range, it will kill the, nar- the inflation narrative for now. The real guts of the inflation debate is more than likely next year's story. It is normal to see inflation fears immediately after recessions, but they tend to ease sharply or entirely reverse, as do bond yields. Here's that chart here showing the spike of inflation expectations. Going all the way back to 1962 through to now, so you can see for some perspective. And the Fed always cuts again for two years after the recession as stimulus and rebound effects start to wear off. Here's this bond yields graph here for some perspective. The same happened with QE after last recession. Here's a post QE chart here when the Fed balance sheet became the way to stimulate. And last time it lasted five years. The government tends to push through one or two stimulus sessions. In this case, I think they'll be massive and the Fed balance sheet will continue to expand and bond yields should drop once more. Here's another chart here showing what the bond market is picking up. My view remains that H2 was weaker than expected and inflation fears subside for now and growth looks patchy. That results in more stimulus and not tightening in Q4. Well, what does that mean for markets? Well, the dollar keeps rising for a bit. Commodities correct. Tech and exponential age stocks rip higher. Weaker data will eventually lead to gold and crypto moving up sharply, especially once the dollar stabilizes a bit. We need to see the dollar break this inverse head and shoulders first. Here's that chart here showing those inverse head and shoulders. But I think the dollar is range bound and heads to the 96 to 98 level before settling. Again, that chart here. So let's see how that plays out. But keep your eye on the dollar. It is still the king. And remember that 100% of all forecasters on Bloomberg at the beginning of the year suggested it was going to weaken a lot. They're usually wrong when consensus is so high. But massive infrastructure stimulus that will keep coming will drive up commodities over time as long as the dollar is not ripping. But I think that first wave is possibly done and will correct for a while now. In the near-sighted short term, gold and silver are falling back, all falling off the rise of a, um, on the back of a rising US dollar, albeit cushioned for Aussies by a falling Australian dollar, and Goldilocks Fed narrative of subdued inflation and rising rates. However, whether you're in the transitory or sticky inflation camp, the outcome is likely the same later this year, and that is that the Fed is unleashing more and not less stimulus. That drives rates down less even of what's left of even transitory inflation will still be firmly negative and negative rates and throw off falling US dollar and you have great support for higher gold and silver prices. Rare is it that both sides of a macroeconomic debate lead to the same outcome of support for gold and silver. That nearsightedness is arguably gifting investors a dip buying opportunity right now for both gold and for silver. And that's news for this week everyone. We hope you've enjoyed. It's been a roller coaster ride as per usual. Remember ainsleybullion.com.au for after your physical stuff, ainsleywealth.com.au for cryptocurrencies, and goldsilverstandard.com for our own crypto built and backed by real gold and real silver. Enjoy your weekend, everyone, and we'll catch you Monday for more news. Monday.